guys welcome to the Elliness Crafts channel. This channel primarily focuses on knitting, crocheting and any other kind of craft that I am interested in at that moment. This is episode 7, my name is Lorraine, I'm coming to you from London, England. Um, if you are interested you can find me in a few other places, one of which is Instagram and Ravelry. I'm going by the name of Elliness Crafts in those two places and also I have a Ravelry group where you can post pictures of what you've been finishing up, general chit chat, um, introduce yourself so I know who's looking at, who's viewing this podcast. Um, and that is also going by the name of LNS Crafts. Do come over to the Ravelry group. I'd love to hear from you if you watch this video um, specifically to find out a little bit more about who watches, what kind of things you enjoy watching, anything you want to share in the Ravelry group, please feel free to go on over there. So, I usually try and start my videos by doing my finished objects, and so let's get into those. So I've made a note of um, my finished objects in my little notebook here, because I'm pretty rubbish at remembering things otherwise. And I'm looking at my show notes, so do excuse me if I look down. This is from my last episode, so I know what I have finished up since the last one so anyway um, I, um, I've i been kind of storing my finished objects in, in this box so that I have some idea of what I've managed to finish up recently and the first thing I finished up was this shawl it's called the Ocean Depth Shawl I showed this in the last um, video that I did and it wasn't quite finished but now it is it looks like this actually let me turn it the right way around and you'll be able to see it looks like this you probably notice I'm in a slightly different location to where I usually film I thought it might be a little bit better to film a little bit further away from you so I'm sitting on my bed and it's evening time so I've got an unnatural light um, lighting this video so let me know how you like um, this lighting and this position um, in order to share with you what I've been working on and stuff like that you know share you share with you my my bits and pieces so that is the um, shawl this is the ocean depth shawl um, I'll put the name of the person who that is by up there I used my prosing circulars and um, 3.5 millimeter needles um, I did use um, I think it was an 80 centimeter one but it, I didn't find it long enough for this shawl and I think if I was to make it any bigger I would need to use um, longer longer needles I think to make it more comfortable to work with very easy pattern to follow and I definitely recommend this for beginners I did enjoy doing it I'm kind of thinking that I could have gone on a little bit more if I had more yarn but I did run out so this was a one skein project and I'm happy that I managed to finish up that yarn in particular I did have a lot of counting to do on this and that's kind of putting me off a little bit of doing shawls but I really enjoy the look, I think it looks so pretty, I like the finished object so I don't know, we shall see how I get on with that. The yarn I used for this was King Cole Bamboo Cotton and um, it's lovely to work with, I have bought another batch of the cotton because I want to make a nice little cardigan for myself but I've bought it in a different colour so that's how much I like it. It is really nice to work with, very lightweight, lightweight and I like that. So that's that. The next item I managed to finish up was the Charismatic Pebbles Toe Up Socks, that's what I'm calling them. Um, because the yarn for the toes, I should have my sock blockers, give me a minute, let me get my sock blockers. Won't I? Sorry about that. Okay. So let me put these on the sock blockers. These are my charismatic pebble socks. I'm calling them that because the grey colour is the colourway pebbles. This is a Woolly Mama's. Woolly Mama? No, it's not. It was an artist. Um, artist palette yarn I think it was in the colourway pebbles and that's what it looks like and then the cuff toe and heel is charismatic charisma sorry it's charisma colourway um, and it's the schlopper I can't remember Zauberball 
yarn that I used. I've used them in a previous pair of socks and I was trying to finish that up so I decided to use it for the toes, heels and cuffs on these socks and I managed to use it, well most of it up. I think I've still got a tiny bit lying around but I've used most of it. I'm quite pleased with this. This is just, they're plain vanilla socks with a 2x2 rib and a German short row heel. I had to learn the German short row heel again because I'd forgotten. Um, I used 64 stitches and 2.25mm chow gyu and higher higher 9 inch needles for these and I really like them. The toe I think I did in, it says there I did the toe in 3.5mm because I used, um, I used the, what's it called? Um can't remember what it's called now when you do the you when you do the cast on you just wind it round. Turkish cast on. I used a Turkish cast on and um I used 3.5 millimeter needles which were a hundred centimeters long because I wanted to do the magic um loop method to do the cast on. It makes it a lot easier with the Turkish cast on. And then I forgot to change needles <laughs> and so I ended up doing the toe in 3.5 millimeters and the rest of it is two point two five millimeters and these are size sevens which are for me UK size sevens and I really like the way they turned out I'm quite pleased with that so those are the first pair of socks I managed to get off the needles the next finished object is this plum happiness is sweater now this sweater was by Alicia Plummer and I've been looking at this for a long time before I decided to buy it and I have used, let's see what the yarn is, I have used the yarn Alpaca Drops Puna Yarn, which is an alpaca yarn, um, and it is so lovely and soft, and the colour is just gorgeous, it's a gorgeous um, pink, kind of dusky pink colour, I'm not sure the camera's showing it up really well, um, it's such a lovely colour, and let's see so I learned a couple of things when making this top first of all the pattern called for a tubular cast on which I didn't want to do um, I really didn't feel like putting in the effort but I've managed to do the twisted cast on that it called for and it has these lovely spots um, I wasn't sure when I first knitted it up the spots didn't they weren't flat but um, with the blocking it seems to have kind of flattened them out a bit the sweater is not for me it's for um, my cousin and so I'm not going to try it on it should be slightly too big for me because she's a little bit bigger than me um, and it's got a what do you call this eye cord neck which is the first time I've ever done an eye cord neck edging so I'm really pleased with how that turned out I'm really hoping it will sit well on my cousin um, and be comfortable to wear I think it really looks really looks nice on there that's what it looks like um, just a close-up of the spots there. The only thing I was a bit concerned about with this pattern, it's got a raglan sleeve as well, the only thing I was a bit concerned about with this pattern was the um, spots. On the side you get, um, you don't get whole spots, so the chart is charted out so that you don't actually get complete spots all the way around. Um, I can't really share more information than that because it is a paid for pattern. Some people have made modifications to the spots. I stuck with the pattern the way it is and um, I do like the way it's turned out. It looks fine to me and I really do hope that my cousin likes it. So the colourway is plum which is why it's called my plum happiness is jumper and it is Garn Studio Drops Puna yarn I used what size needles did I use? I think they were five five millimeter needles for this one. I haven't actually put it on my Ravelry, which is unusual. I used about seven and a half balls off the wall. They're 50 gram balls of wall, and it's 100% alpaca, and I really do hope she likes it. Um, yeah, it's quite an easy knit and to for me, the, the most difficult thing was following the spot pan, but once you got in the swing of the actual chart and how to do it, it was fine. It was pretty much plain sailing. The back is actually plain. No, it's not plain. Why did I say it was plain? The back is spotty as well. Back and front. It's worked in the round, bottom up. And then the sleeves are in the round. 
um, bottom up. Yeah, bottom up. And yeah, I enjoyed doing it and I really like the end result. I really hope she likes it. I do want to make another one of those because I do like the actual pattern. I was intending it for me, but I thought I'd make her one first and because um, hers is more um, time conscious, if that's the right way to put it. I had to make hers for a particular time, whereas my one I can make that any time. So I've done hers first and I really hope she likes it. Next up are some baby socks that I made. Um, I have a nephew who is expecting a, whose partner is expecting a baby um, sometime soon and I decided I would have a go at making some baby socks. Um, I will put the pattern, I don't actually have the pattern to hand, why do I not have the pattern to hand? This is so annoying isn't it? Sorry guys, I'm not very organised today. The pattern is the Garter Stripe Baby Socks pattern by Jennifer Howell. Howell, H-O-E-L, and this, I don't have a sock blocker big enough for these, but these are what the sock look like. They are so cute, it's got garter stitching down the middle, they, it's a free pattern on Ravelry, so I can share that with you. It's got garter um, stitching down the middle, it's got a, what do they call this? I'm not sure what they call that, it's like a garter ridge. Um... Three needle bind off I had to learn for this particular sock pattern, um, I'll get to that in a minute. The back has a little garter stitch pattern down the centre, it's a short row heel, let's show you from the side. For some reason one sock um, shows more holes there than the other one, I'm not quite sure what I did. I think maybe my tension wasn't so good on the first one. This is the first sock because there's more hole. You can see the holes more there. But that is what it looks like. This is the Knit Picks Felici yarn. I'm not quite sure what the colourway is because it didn't actually say it on the label. Um, I understand you cannot get Knit Picks Felici yarn anymore. But I managed to buy it in my local yarn um, shop. So um, not quite sure. Maybe she's got a back stock of old yarns from Knit Picks. Um, for these, I used a number 2mm needle, which is a size US 0. And the gauge was actually 9, nine stitches to an inch, but mine was... Um, sorry, the gauge for the pattern was 8 stitches to an inch, but my gauge was 9 stitches to an inch. So I think next time I do these socks, I'm going to go up a needle size to try and get gauge. So these are pretty tiny socks. Um, I think they're fine for a new baby but I think um, I want to make a bigger pair so that the baby has a little bit more time in them because these are quite tiny but I do like them. They are really cute and as I said it is a free pattern on Ravelry so look that up if you guys are interested and I didn't use very much of this at all. It says here I've used up 15 grams just for these little socks so um, I've got quite a lot of this colourway left that I could use up. I'm pretty pleased with those and I want to make those again. Next up is a pair, and lastly actually, last finished object, is a pair of camouflage socks. That's what I'm calling them anyway. These ones, I've been waiting to finish these up for a while. Let me get them on the blockers. So, they are a pattern that I've kind of just made up as I've gone along. Basically, I decided I wanted to use up some more of the yarn I had left over from another pair of socks. So, the yellow section of this socks is a Knit Global yarn, and I'm calling it, um, it doesn't actually have a, it's, the colourway is Dale, Knit Global Dale yarn, hand dyed yarn, that's what the yellow is. Um, I'm calling them camouflage because of the colour you can see there. So this is in the colour Dale by Knit Global and it's a, I'm not quite sure, I think it's a virgin yarn, not a merino or anything like that. And this bit, the cuff, I've knit in a charcoal yarn by Woolly Mama Yarns. Um, she's on Etsy and I've mentioned her before, I like her yarns. This is the colourway charcoal, I did run out of the charcoal colour and so I had to wait for that to come back into stock 
and I ran out of the Knit Global the Day All colorway and then I kind of got to a point where I was like ah I've run out just before I managed to do any of the leg so I decided to just do the charcoal but then to make it slightly different I've decided to do a 3 by one rib for the cuffs hopefully you can see that there and the top is a one by one rib and so that is it so that's charcoal the heels charcoal and the toes are charcoal and this section is Knit Global's Dale so the charcoal is a merino a superwash merino 75% superwash merino 25% nylon and it's really lovely and soft and I have used this I actually used it for the toes and cuffs on another pair of socks um, so it is something I really like it's a colorway I really like I have some more yarns by Willy Mum yarns I'm going to show with you in a minute or a bit later on when I show you my um, acquisitions or incoming yarns so look out for that but that is it I use for these I use 2.75 millimeter needles and what did I do continental knitting star oh no I didn't use that I did the Turkish cast on for the toe and um, and I did 10 stitches, I did yarn over increases until I got to 20 stitches and then I did yarn over increases um, every third row. Look at my notes, if, you, if you're interested in more detail on these socks and um, what I've done then check out my Ravelry um, project, check it out on my project page on Ravelry and you will see exactly the stitch counts and stuff like this that um, these ones are 64 stitches these socks for my husband's feet and he's a UK size 10 and a half I think it was I was making UK size 10 I've made so yeah these fit his feet nicely and I'm pretty sure he will enjoy wearing them so that is my those are the camouflage socks. So I've made quite a few things. Um, I think the fact that I made the jumper, because I've finished up the jumper, I've, it's kind of slowed me down and the shawl slowed me down a bit on what I could do this month, but we're in the last few weeks. But um, I think I've done quite well. So those are my finished objects and I've enjoyed working on those and I'm happy to kind of get those, put them to one side, start wearing them, whatever. And I have moved on to lots of other projects that I am working on so let's move into my whips for works in progress I have been working on my autism awareness blanket my memory blanket my wood pigeon socks number two and I've started a new cast on so I will show you that in a second let's start with the memory blanket you guys have seen this before this is the memory blanket by uh, Georgie Nicholson. I never managed to get to remember who it's by. It's just a, a lot of mitre squared, um, mitered squares. And where am I? This is where I am now. Where's the bottom? That is the bottom. This was my starting square, and I am here. So I managed to finish or attach these four at the top here. As I mentioned before, all of these are double knit yarn. Um, most of them were acrylic, but this one is an alpaca yarn. Um, not sure how it's going to work out with the different yarn because all the others are acrylic. And this one being alpaca is a little bit more stretchy, but hopefully because it's like a scrappy blanket, it won't really matter. I'm not quite sure how big to go with this project. I'm just kind of going with the flow and um, see where I go. This one was um, a yarn that's gifted to me. It's very coarse and it feels like it's an acrylic, but it's not a soft acrylic like the rest of them. This one also was gifted to me. The other two are Stylecraft. Most of them are Stylecraft yarns and I'm really enjoying this because I'm using size 4mm needles for this and I kind of just do this while I'm watching TV. It's pretty much um, easy to do and one that doesn't require a lot of thought other than to, to just place the stitch marker. Um, yeah, so I have got a new yarn which I've taken from my daughter because she's not using it. I think this is a Stylecraft yarn that I'm going to add on there at some point. But I'm kind of 
down to mainly like blues at the moment so I think this is going to slow down a bit until I can have a little bit more variation in colour um, as I finish up projects I will be able to use the leftover yarn so um, this one I've worked on it a little bit but not a huge amount I have been working a lot on the autism awareness blanket which I was calling my multicoloured multi-pattern um, granny square and that one is quite big now and um, so big that I decided that I would just do the squares and show you the squares um, rather than try and show you all of the blanket um, I think I'll kind of leave it a little bit longer maybe to the end um, when I finish the blanket then I'll show you the finished blanket but I think I'll just share with you the squares that I'm attaching or that I've worked on for the time being because it's really big so the first one that I have finished up is just an ordinary granny square and then I've done some um, double crochets around the edge and then gone back to the granny square format so that's the first one and I've used um, some leftover yarn I don't know what they are they're just scraps the orange one is price price wise I think it was I'm not quite sure actually let me see if I can check what that one was um, it's some of the neon colors that I bought recently um, James C Brett yarn that's what it is um, the bright neon colours I bought to add to the blanket and they are really nice and soft and I really do like those they're really nice to work with this is another granny square that I'm adding to the blanket just another plain one here's another one can't remember what this one's called now um, I posted pictures on my Ravelry so this one Tangerine Dream was the actual square but that's the pattern but it's not the colours that I've used and it's from my Tracy Lord Square A Day book, these patterns. And I'm adding another one here from Tracy Lord Square A Day. Same one, the Tangerine Dream Square. And another one. Those are going to be added to my blanket soon. Um, then I've done the, what is this one called? Greek Cross from the Tracy Lord Square A Day book. There you are, mainly acrylic yarns for this one. Same again with the granny square edging. They need blocking, um, so I'm showing you all of these whilst they're unblocked. Another one here, and this last one. So now that I've shown you these, I will attach them to the blanket, and I am attaching with a burgundy yarn, which is this colour now, because I've finished up using the purple, so the border for the squares is going to be um, burgundy. And these are 8 inch squares that I'm adding to my blanket. Sorry, my phone's pinging. Eight inch squares that I'm adding to my blanket and um, I need, I don't know, I've got a few more to do now. I think I'm getting close to the end of the project because I'm trying to make it so that it will fit on a single bed in my spare room and um, it's getting quite big now and I think I'll be able to do that with probably another seven plus squares. I should be okay but I will post an update on Ravelry on the project page once I have attached those blocked them and attached them I will put an update of what it looks like on the blanket and take another picture of the whole blanket so you can see what it looks like on my project page um, so if you're interested check out my Ravelry project page for that next up I have these pigeon wood pigeon socks now I was working on these socks and um, I got to a point, these are Wood Pigeon Colourway by West Yorkshire Spinners, this is where I've got to. I got quite a lot further, I did the heel, I've done German short row heels on these, and actually did I even cast on them on last episode? I don't even think I've done an intro for these socks, I'm really sorry guys. So. These are, um, I'm trying to use the leftover West Yorkshire Spinners yarn in the Colourway Wood Pigeon. I am using um, just my my brain for the pattern. I'm not following a pattern, I'm just using my previous knowledge 
and I'm doing these on uh, US two US size one and um, two point two five millimeter needles. I have used fifty six stitches because they're for my daughter. She's a UK size four, so they are slightly smaller. Um, are they four or five? I think they're four. So they're slightly smaller than my feet size and I had got to the point where I turned the heel so let me explain I thought I was doing really well with these I finished up a, one whole sock and then I tried it on my daughter's foot and she said it was tight across the instep after I joined after I'd um, done the heel she said it was tight across here so I thought well what am I going to do I can't if I continue knitting it then she's not going to want to wear it so what I've done I've ripped it back down to before the heel and I'm trying to improvise rather than ripping all of this out and starting again because it's only this section that um, she says feels a bit tight I thought I would just increase the stitch count just after I've done the hit just before I do the heel so what I've done I've like I said I started with 56 stitches for this the whole foot and then I have increased just before um, doing the heel I've increased to 60 stitches to give a little bit more um, width across the top of the instep and so I am not 64 60 stitches so I'm starting to work back up to do the leg now I've only got that far on one the second one I haven't done the increases yet so I've yet to do the increase and do the heel on that one and I'm doing the German short row heel because I'm working toe up. I don't know how to do the um, heel flap and turn doing toe up socks. If you guys can recommend a pattern for heel flap and turn doing toe up, then please let me know because um, I'd really like to learn that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I think they're just going to be plain vanilla socks. The toe is just a yarn over increases and the cast on was the um, Turkish cast on for these and yeah that is about it that's all I can say on these um, I'm hoping that once I've done the increase it won't be so tight across the instep bit for her and I think I will I'm not sure if I should keep the stitch count at 60 for the leg or if I should go back down to the 56 stitches because um, she's got quite thin um, ankles and stuff so hmm I don't know not sure about that I'm, I'm kind of undecided on that at the moment so we shall see what I do but I want to get past the heel first and I'm working two of them at a time as you saw um, but just on separate needles I'm generally working on my nine inch higher higher sharps and my um, chow goos which are 2.25 millimeters so that is the socks so what else do I have let's see lastly I have been working on I've just started this pattern I'm really sorry for my phone pinging I'm expecting my my kids to come back um, from a day out and I've got to check my phone because I've got to go and pick them up um, I have started to do this pattern um, I've done this previously before this is a lace cardigan um, do I have the pattern let me see if I, if I actually have the pattern here Yes, I do. So it's a printed pattern that I bought in John Lewis, and it's a King Cole pattern. And this is it here. It's the cardigan. It the the pattern does have cardigan and the jumper, but I want to do the cardigan. I've tried it before. This is a story. This is take two. I've tried it before. And um, this was when I first got back into knitting. I tried it, knitted up the cardigan. It was way too big because I decided in my infinite wisdom to make a larger size because I wanted it to be not a fitted cardigan, but a bit more roomy. So I decided to just go up a couple of sizes. What does it, what difference does it make? Go up a couple of sizes, it'll be a bit baggier. No, it was not only baggy, but it was just way too big all over. So. I had to give that away because I wasn't about to rip it out and start again. I'd finished the cardigan, it fit too big and I wasn't comfortable keeping it and wearing it for myself. So I decided to part with that, give it to somebody as a gift and now, a year later, I want to do it again. 
so I'm trying again with this pattern I want to make the cardigan um, to fit I've just dropped the pattern now I want to make the cardigan to fit me I want to be able to wear it this summer so I have been working on the front so I'm doing it I'm working um, the two fronts and I'm using lifelines this time so I've got my new um, Chow Gu twist set and so I have been working with lifelines just to speed things up a bit and this oh sorry sorry about that um, so this is the first side this is the left front this is the lace patterning on the bottom um, I've just finished that section section my plan is to do um, each section I'm working the two left front and the right front at the same time just so that I can get past the patterny bits at the same point on each and it makes it a little bit easier for me because um, this is fresh in my mind what to do with this one I do that bit that is fresh in my mind I'll go on to do this one and then there's another set of patterns um, when you do the top section here so currently on the left side I have finished the bottom bit the lace section which looks like that and I'm pretty pleased with how that's turned out and now I moved over to the right section and did the same bit and now I've moved up to do the second bit of the pattern which is there and um, once I've done the this section that needs to be done in this pattern I will go on to do the same on the left front I hope I'm explaining that clearly so that is how I'm working it I'm doing the two side by side this section and then this section once I've done that the middle section on this I'll go up to the top bit and then the, do the top bit on this once I finish these two then I'll go on to the back which is just plain stocking stitch for quite a lot um, so that should be less mind-boggling the sleeves do have this pattern on the bottom but it doesn't have the two different patterns that it has on the front so it should be a little easier to follow the needle sizes I'm using are um, 2.75 for the rib section which is just a single um, one by one rib and then for the actual pattern it's 3.25 needles for this so they're quite small needles it is such a lightweight pattern the yarn I'm using is the King Cole bamboo yarn which is this one and it's um, cotton and it's bamboo viscose 48% bamboo viscose and 52% cotton which is really nice combination this is what I used for the shawl the ocean depth shawl but in the green colorway which was what was it called can't remember the colorway for that but this one is called wisteria I need to order a few more balls of that because I don't think I've got enough to finish it up so that is the current project and I'm trying to get this done pretty quickly get past the patney bits so that I can move on to the um, the other bits that I have to think about less because um, I have been taking that on my commute to work to try and finish that up so I think those are all my works in progress so far let me see where am i yeah those are all the works in progress i have to show you so now let's move on to incoming and acquisitions so guys i have been acquiring yarn and um first up let me just say before i forget i won a couple of giveaways recently um, the most recent giveaway prize I won was by the Knits and Pieces podcast, um, Noel and Jacqueline. Um, they kindly sent me my gift in the post with, they sent some lovely sweets, which I have already eaten, I must say. They sent some tea bags, David's Tea tea bags, which I'm really pleased to have. Chai tea, I've never tried that before. It's um, organic Saigon chai tea. So I'll be trying those. But best of all, they sent me this National Parks Collection yarn, which is this. It's a merino yarn, um, merino slim. It's a superwash merino, 100%. And that is what it looks like. So I can't wait to get this um, caked up and get using it it's really lovely and soft the colors are just amazing and um, I'm really chuffed that I received this this is my first kind of 
giveaway prize. I'm really pleased with that. Um, I have one also, which I forgot to mention. I won a pattern from Mama in a Mance. Um, she did a giveaway and I entered her giveaway and then completely forgot about it and I won a pattern which is the windswept cardigan um, so I'm really pleased about that and it was her favourite project that she's made and she's gifted that to me so I'm really chuffed with that and I'm trying to think about what kind of colourways I want to use to make that cardigan for myself um, since she loved it so much I feel like I will really enjoy making that cardigan as well it's a four ply or fingering weight cardigan so it's quite lightweight so um, yeah I've got to figure out what yarn I want to use for that project so yes thank you um, Noelle and Jacqueline from Knits and Pieces and thank you also to Christy from Mama in a Mance for those prizes. I will enjoy using the yarn and the pattern um, in the future when I've decided actually what I want to use them for. So thank you for those. Anyway, like I said, incoming, I have been buying yarn. Um, I have been buying some Stylecraft Bambino yarn. This is in the colour Heather. I want to make some baby knits with this and this is 100% acrylic. I know that a lot of you guys on here don't like using acrylic and it's like a, a taboo word to use but I really love it especially for baby knits. It's really lovely and soft and I think it washes up well and um, the, I like the way it turns out so I enjoy using it too. So those are those. I mentioned already that I'm using the um, King Cole Bamboo yarn in the colourway Wisteria for my cardigan, I had to think about that then, for my cardigan, so that is what I've got there, I need to order some more of that because I don't think I ordered enough, but best of all, I bought some hand dyed yarn on Etsy, I went over to Ellie's um, shop on Etsy which is Craft House Magic and I was looking at this skein of yarn and I loved the patterning I haven't had any speckled yarn before so um, I just I looked at it a few times I went away and said no I'm not going to get that because I don't know what to do with it I'm not going to get that yet not going to get that yet went back to her page had another look and I was like you know what I keep looking at this same yarn so let me just buy it and be done with it so that's it this is you spin me round yarn by um, craft house magic and that's Ellie she's based in the UK it is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon and it is beautiful and I can't wait to cake that up and see how that looks when I've decided what I want to do with this one I just knew I had to have it so that's that one and also I felt the same about this one this is the Woolly Mama's yarns um, she's the person that I mentioned earlier that I got the charcoal yarn from um, her name is Cassie and this is the colourway Sundown Soon. I really liked the colourway, but I wanted it on a merino um, and nylon base. She did it on a different base, and I asked her if she could do it on 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and she did. She did it just for me, custom order, and I'm really pleased. Look at those colours. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, again, but... As I said before, I kept looking at this, kept going back to the page, putting it on, um, putting a little heart on it on Etsy, going away thinking, yeah, I'll come back and get that another time when I've decided what I want to do with it, try and use up some of the sock yarn I've got. And as you've seen, I've been using up my sock yarn, so I saw this and I thought, you know what, I keep looking at it, same with this one, I'm going to buy it. I asked her to custom make the... Um, superwash merino and nylon base make it on a nylon base and she's done that for me and i'm really pleased so now i have these two and they are gorgeous yarns do check them out on etsy if you are interested in hand dyed yarns i can't wait to cake them up and then to have a play around with ideas for what i want to do with this if you guys have any ideas for this one let me know and also for speckled yarns i haven't used speckled yarns before so i'm not sure how they translate into um you know into projects so um yeah it's kind of exciting for me so yeah those are my incoming yarns i think that is it that's all i have coming in i recently bought a chowgu twist needle set let me show you that oh, get off this bed let's see i bought these on amazon and 
I really wanted to have twistables, twistables, interchangeable needles because I keep buying the Chow Goos um, as singles and then I thought, you know what, um, I think, who was it? Very Pink Knits. Stacey from Very Pink Knits did a review on them and that was like the last straw. I had to have these. Um, I'd been looking at them for a, a couple of months now. Um, never had this kind of needle before. Didn't want to fork out the money because they're over £100 but... I like the needle tips. I've tried the Chow Goo needles in different sizes um, with some of the circulars I already have and I thought it would be a good investment to just buy the kit. So I bought the complete set and that's what it looks like. And I'm really pleased with these. I'm using them at the moment, testing them out on the um, cardigan. I forgot to show you my little project bags, didn't I? Um, which is in my wool woolen balls project bag um, and I've been using my interchangeables for I don't know since I got them which was Saturday so and it's now Tuesday and I'm loving them um, I'm having to use the little t-pin to tighten them because sometimes they do come a little bit loose but the t-pins that come in the little bag with it these here that tightens them quite nicely so I'm using that um, and I'm really pleased. If you want to know more about these, just feel free to ask me any questions. Um, you can do that on in the comment section below this video or in the Ravelry group. I will happily answer any questions you have on the Twist um, Chow Goo interchangeable needles. That is it. I think that's all I've got to say. That's all I have to share with you. I just wanted to get things out while I finished them and while things are fresh in my memory share with you what I've been doing, how I've been getting on. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that, feel free to put them in the comments section below the video or over on the Ravelry group. Um, I will post this video in the Ravelry group. So if you're over there watching this video, comment below in the thread um, and I will answer any questions you have there. Thank you very much for getting to the end of this video. I do hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've been working on, what I've finished up and what I've been buying. Um, if you have, give me some thumbs up on the video and let me know in the comments section. Um, that is it for me. I usually try and upload a video every month, but I'm thinking that I might may try to do it a little bit more frequently because then there's less to remember um, and my memory is not that great. So we shall see how I get on but um, yeah if you want to see or want to know when I've uploaded a video then do click the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube and click the little bell and you will get notifications when I upload a new video so you won't have to um, think about when to come back that's a lot easier but yeah that is it from me thank you very very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to to see you in my next video